Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more control. And uh, did you spend your ability points? I hope not, because what we're about to do next will have a big impact on how you spend those points. We have four points, but we can get two, two more right away to uh, make a total of six, at which point you can either max out health or max out launch, both of which would be highly beneficial to what's coming up in the last half of the game. Um, plus, all these women video game superheroes, they just don't want credit for anything. Aloy does not want to be called savior. Jesse does not want to be called director. What's up with that, huh? At the very least, you should dress like a director, don't you think, Jesse? Okay. Okay, so let's dress you up like a director. I'm going to show you in this video how to get the golden suit. Plus, it will give us two extra ability points. Um, this will require level 5 clearance, which we have. And we can go back to the research section and go to central research, which you can see is right beside the luck and probability um, section. Right? Let's go there. All right, let's go into luck and probability. Lots of interesting things in this office, but it all jumps off in this office over here. And like I said, it requires clearance level five, which we now have. Let's go in. And interesting, interesting. Okay, so this is where it all this is where it all happens. The roulette table. Spin it. And nothing happens. Spin it again. And nothing. Okay, things are falling apart here terribly. <laughs> Oops. Did I do that? <laughs> Let's see what else happens. <laughs> Come on, lucky seven. Come on. Come on, baby needs two shoes. Oh, shit. Okay, so there's something we're not doing right. Things are falling apart here. Um, why don't we do a little research? After all, this is the research section. Let's check this out. Research and records. Lucky item manifest. Okay, so go to collectibles, research and records. Scroll on down to. Lucky item manifest. And we have a whole bunch of clues here. Alright, starting with light bulb various. Documented gambling rituals indicate luck is produced when all lights in the room are turned on. And you notice that you can actually interact with all the, the lights in this room. So let's do that right now. One. Two. Three. And four. Okay, with all those lights on, let's go to the next clue. Here we see... Let's read the clues again. Lucky item manifest. The bronze kwa? Koi? I'm going to go with kwa fish china. Attracts abundance and wealth. Feng Shui. Okay, and Feng Shui is all about, you know, things being like placed in the right order or right place or whatever. And you see here, you got a fish and it says less than two feet. This means that we have to take the golden fish from the next room. Right here, pick up your launch, use your launch try to pick it up, bring it over and place it on the rug around the roulette table, which will put it within less than two feet of the roulette table. So it's put right here. Oh, it's standing up. There we go. Okay, next. We have a horseshoe. 
And there's a question mark beside it. If we check our lucky item manifest. Horseshoe wards off evil. Orientation is important. Heals up allows luck to be kept. Heals down, luck flows out. Let's go to the other room. Find the horseshoe. And it's already up. We just leave it like that. If you hit the switch, it'll turn it down. Hit the switch again. It turns it back up. And as you can see, this is a clear indication. Luck flows out. Luck is kept. Next. Lucky item manifest. Meneki Neko Japan. Beckoning cat used in shops. Paw held up to beckon customers, creating luck for business odor. Alright. The cat is over here. Interact with that. And that's all you have to do. Next. The Four Leaf Clover Ireland Shamrock Rare Plant Variation Connections to Druid Healing Rituals. If you'll notice, we have a Four Leaf Clover here. If you interact with it, you take it. If you interact with it again, it puts it back. Let's take it. put it right here. There you go. And finally, the elephant. Protection, good luck, wisdom, feng shui. There's an elephant in the other room. Let's go fiddle around with it. There you go. Now, having done all those things, now let's go spin the roulette wheel. Come on, Seven. Baby needs new shoes. Come on, let's go here. Let's go leave. Hello! Down in the bottom right corner of the screen, two ability points and the golden suit. See, now we have six ability points. How about that? Who loves you? Who loves you? Yeah. And different suits can only be equipped. Better hurry up, Jesse. I hear the, I hear the authorities. Yeah, they can only be equipped in Central Executive. And this is pretty typical. When you come out, enemy spawn. Let's take care of this, his cluster. Yeah, that's pretty typical. Alright, and... Like I said, suits can only be changed at Central Executive. So let's go back to Central Executive. Outfits. And there we go. We got the golden suit. Now she's looking more directorial. Golden suit. Pretty spiffy. Nice little pantsuit. There you go. Quick little video. You got yourself a golden suit and two extra ability points. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Stuff like that there. See you next time for some more. Control. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.